<sighs> Monday. Ever since what happened at the Feminist Club, my life's been a living hell. The video went viral, and now I'm the laughing stock of the whole school. <laughs> Bro, funny to get jigs from Feminist Club. <laughs> I know. What a loser. But what do you expect? This is exactly what happens when you pour your heart out to a woman. They throw it back to your face. I don't know if this is ever gonna blow over. Or if I'm just gonna have to live with this for the rest of my life. But the way things are now, it's not looking too good. Literally everyone at my school knows who I am and makes fun of me every chance they get. It's not just the students too. Even the teachers are getting in on it. Meanwhile, the early feminists didn't imagine that this would lead to guys using it to get laid. Haha, <laughs> bro, I think he's talking about you. What did I ever do to deserve this? <sighs> but lunch was even worse. There was basically no place I could sit, since I'm basically an outcast at this point. So I was forced to do what all the other rejects do, <sighs> and eat at the floor. I remember last year in social and about cost and ancient India and how there were high costs and low costs. The highest cost was called, I think, Bahiram, who were apparently priests in ancient India. Meanwhile, the lowest cost were literally called untouchables because you couldn't touch them or else you'd go to jail or something, I think. But, well, that's me now. And I figured I'd get best to get used to it. Because judging by the way things are going, it's not going to change anytime soon. After school, I got home, and that's when Roderick came up to me. He told me that this was some next level simp shit, and that it was bound to blow up in my face. Apparently, news of the thing spread to the high school, so basically everyone in this school, high and low, district knows about what happened. <sighs> Looks like I'm not getting anything different there. Greg, what exactly was your plan there anyway? What, you're just gonna pretend to be a feminist and then expect to get laid? That's some nice guy shit. You need to stop watching those crappy animes when that happens. They're not realistic. <sighs> I'm basically doomed now. Everywhere I'll go, I'll be a laughing stock. I hate, I hate women so much. I'd, I'd, I'd love for there to be a way to show them who's boss. But the way things are, that's pretty much impossible. Society is basically controlled by them. Which means that if you do something that a woman doesn't like, she can ruin your life just like that. <sighs> but maybe, maybe someday someone will find a way to stand up to them. But for now, best of luck to you. If you're a handsome guy like Bryce and his cronies, then obviously you'll be fine. But for the rest of us, things... Things aren't just kind, because there is a huge difference in how women treat men who are attractive or how they treat men who aren't. <laughs> like me, Gregory Heffley. Hey, don't any of you nerds write my name down. While I was thinking about this, I remembered all of a sudden something that Albert Sandy said last year. It was something about a red pill, and it was basically everything I was realizing now, that women control society and that most men were left out while women got the most of it. He said that women like alpha men over beta men and that alpha men are generally more successful than beta men. Apparently when women swim in alpha men, they get tingles and lose all rational thought and that because women are so enamored with alpha men, they'll do what alpha men say and he said that men can level up and become more alpha by changing their mindset. You see, all your problems will go away if you simply become an alpha male and take the red pill. Just like in the movie, The Matrix. Did you know the red pill is actually based on the movie Matrix? And the red pill means accepting the truth and escaping the Matrix, like in the movie, The Matrix. Now, I don't know about you, but I certainly could use a level up. I'm not sure if Albert Sandy is going to be willing to talk to me given my status, but I... Figure that if there's gonna be a chance, then it's worth it to see if he's willing to teach me about the red pill and how to level up and become an alpha male. Because if I can become an alpha male, I can show the women at my school who's boss. And when they finally want me to see how much of an alpha male I am, you'd better believe I'm gonna reject them the same way they rejected me. So that way, 
That way I can spite them and stick it to them. Yeah, yeah. They didn't want me when I was nice. So this time, this time I'm not gonna be so nice. You wanna go out with us, Greg? Beat it, chick. Why can't I find a good man? Tuesday, so today I set off to try and find Albert Sandy. It wasn't hard to find him since he was sitting at the same table he usually sits. Obviously, I couldn't go over there and sit with him since the incident at the feminist club means that I'm a complete outcast. So I waited for lunch to be over before I made my move. In the newest Matrix movie, it turns out the reason why Morpheus isn't in the movie is because he died in some random MMO Matrix game. No, this is actually a fact. I'm not capping, guys. Come on, believe me. Okay, Albert, out of everything you've said, that's the biggest cap in my life. Even the whole theory was better. When lunch was over, I caught Albert Sandy by himself walking out of the lunchroom and to his next class. I went up to him and did my best to get his attention. Now, like I said, I wasn't sure how he's going to react since I'm pretty much the laughing stock of the school, but I managed to get his attention. I told him I remember what he said about the red pill last year and that I'd like to learn more about it. He looked at me and told me to meet him after school. Like, and then he gave me a sheet of paper with an address. Was that good or bad? Now, I didn't know what he was gonna do, but I could tell this was serious. So after school, I went to the address on the sheet of paper Albert gave me, and when I got there, it, it looked familiar. And that's when I realized this is Bryce's restaurant. So in case you didn't know, over the summer, Bryce and his friends made a restaurant for all the parents in the neighborhood to come to, who, in order to raise money, I don't really remember what the reason is. I guess he got bored of it, since it's pretty much abandoned by now. But still here, I, I didn't know why Albert would bring me here of all places. Things were already looking pretty sketchy. And that's when Albert popped up from under the table out of all places. Then a bunch of other guys started popping up from under tables. Weird. I recognized one of them as Chirag, and the other one was Tyson. Now, I didn't know what was going on. I thought maybe they would try to jump me or haze me. But then Albert welcomed me to the Hustlers University. Weird name. So glad you can join our Lord and Savior Tate's Hustlers University, Gregory. As you see, your friends Chirag and uh, what's his name joined already. He explained that this was an after-school society of elite men who wanted to learn the ways of the red pill and become more alpha. That's when Chirag decided to button and said it wasn't a good idea to let the biggest beta in the school join the club. What a bitch. But Albert said that anyone who wants to learn the way should be able to join. And a man's biggest failures can be turned to his biggest success. I asked Albert why we were at Bryce's restaurant of all places. And he responded to saying that Bryce is the alpha male of the school. And that the goal of Hustlers University is for us to learn Bryce's way. And become greater than him and surpass him. Don't worry, Greg. The police aren't going to come here and take this restaurant since it's not our property. I mean, nobody even cares about it. He said that a restaurant once belonged to Bryce, but since he left it once school started, Hustlers University has taken it for themselves. Albert went on to say that this is just like how now Bryce may hold the crown as alpha male, but that soon it will belong to the members of Hustlers University. Albert explained that the ultimate goal of Hustlers University was to usurp Bryce and his cronies by becoming the ultimate alphas of our school. And if I took the red pill and joined them, I could share that. I could share in this success too as well. This sounded like a pretty good deal to me, especially given my current status. I'm desperate to improve it. So I told Albert that I'm in. Well, after what you told me, I have no choice but to accept. So I guess it looks like that I'm now an official member of Hustlers University. After joining, Albert explained to me the basics of red pill ideology. He said that there are two types of men, alpha males and beta males. He explained that alpha males are assertive and dominant, while beta males are meek and submissive and tend to follow the rules more. <laughs> I guess that makes Rowley a beta male. He said that alpha males are generally more willing to break the rules and step over people to get what they want, 
or beta morals are more concerned with pleasing others. He said that what makes a man successful are the traits of an alpha male, but that society has conditioned men to behave like beta males. He said that being dominant is what turns on women, and that the dominant man is the one that actually gets the res most respect. He said that women actually want to be controlled, and that they only pretend not to because that's not societally acceptable, apparently. He also said that in general, women are only dating the top 10% of women. He then started talking about something called hypergamy. I think that's how you said it. Which is basically the idea that women are dating up. So if a woman's a 4, she's probably going to be dating or try to be dating a 7. As opposed to a guy who's actually a 4. So basically, if you're a sub 5, then you're not even a person to them. That's harsh. Albert then went on to talk about something called alpha fucks, beta bucks. Which is that while women prefer alpha males, they will eventually settle with beta males for their money and stability. He explained the cycle goes that women will get pumped and dumped by the alpha males in their 20s, but once they hit the wall in their mid 30s, they'll settle for a beta male who can provide them money and a place to live. But the women who will deny the beta male sex and will probably cheat on them with alpha male at some point. And let me tell you, that is one way I do not want to end up. Oh, hello, Gregory. Say hi to my boyfriend. But I just bought you a wedding ring. Albert said that a man can become an alpha by leveling up and practicing assertiveness in everyday situations. He told us to look up red pill videos on YouTube in our free time and to make our mindset one of success and dominance. He also told us to watch Andrew Tate when we got home. I've heard mom talk about Andrew Tate before. She says he's misogynistic in a dangerous society, but if he's what's gonna get me to level up, then so be it. When the club ended and I got home, I went to YouTube to see what this Andrew Tate guy was really about. I watched one of his videos and let me tell you, I was amazed. Breathe air, drink water. Buy my course and link your friends. Wow. Now this guy gets it. I listened to him for so long, I lost track of time. Sadly, that's when Roderick came into my room. Greg, mom says it's time for din- What the fuck? Women will always cheat on you. You should take control and become an alpha by paying my course in Hustlers University. I need- I need their subscription to Hustlers University. Roderick asked me if I was watching Andrew Tate videos. I said yes, and then Roderick responded by saying that I was doing the opposite of what I did a week ago, and that somehow it was just as cringe. After that, he left my room and told me to get my dinner before it's cold. Honestly, I'm not too worried about Roderick's opinion, considering that he's shown himself to be a beta male from this interaction. Honestly, I realized I should be careful who I do hang up with, because you never know who could be a beta male spouting blue bill mountains. I ate dinner and eventually I went back upstairs to get some sleep. I'm glad I've taken the red pill now because when you take the red pill, you're pretty much immune to bullshit that women throw your way. I may still be the laughing stock of the school, but with the red pill on my side, things are gonna get much, much better. And if Albert's plan actually works, I'll be one of the popular kids. To be honest, I'm not sure if Albert said what his plan was, but it better be something good because I'm not putting all my time and effort into this for nothing. But either way, it's gonna be worth it. I'm already becoming more red-pilled as we speak, and by the end of the year, I'm gonna become the biggest alpha in school, and all will worship me.